Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome to another Airsoft video here at Airsoft Base 1. And today I will be talking about a sniper rifle, a spring sniper rifle that you don't see a lot in the fields. Now, it is the SVD Kalashnikov Spring Sniper Rifle, also known as the Dragunov. say you don't see a lot of this airsoft spring sniper rifles out in the field is because these mostly come in AGs. Now the cool thing about these snipers is they're fully metal, mostly this part and the stock is made out of wood, real wood, but they are a little bit too expensive for my taste. It costs around $150 more if you want the wooden version, same manufacturer and same body and all that shit. But also just, just for the wooden parts you, you pay $150 more and that is not worth it. Because this material is pretty good as well. It is made out of polymer, it is pretty solid, this one too pretty solid so if you fall if you let this right fall it will not break yeah well at least if you're dropping it from this height not from a 10 story building then everything will break okay moving on so first i will go through all the features of this air sniper rifle then we'll go ahead do the shooting and chrono test and my final result of the sniper itself. Now to start off, as I mentioned, the stock is pretty solid. It is made out of full polymer and the cheek rest you can take off. Just pull the lever and then this is your cheek rest. I'm going to put that aside. Then it looks like this. Now here you have your sling attachment. It is made of metal so as you can see a big metal pin it's not coming out of the bottom so that's pretty decent now then you have here the top of the gun yeah mostly you have with Kalashnikovs is you push the button and then you take it off then you have your internals now but this one it is right here this little pin is holding this lever in the right place when you pull it down just take it off and you have all your internal parts right here. Now I've taken some time to replace some parts to make it better, to make it accurate. The sears has been replaced, the piston has been replaced, the spring itself, the spring guide is original I think, and the cylinder is replaced. Now also the inner barrel for more accuracy, but yeah, to the other side I've changed some stuff. If you want to put it back in, you can see there's a hole right there, right there, you have some metal pins right here, just slide it in, push it down, pull the lever back up and you're good to go. Now also with the AEG, this is your fire selector, so mostly semi, auto, all that shit. Here you only have safe and semi. This is semi and this is safe. So just put it on semi, then the handle and you're good to go. Another cool thing about it is you don't have to push the bolt back into position. When you cock it, it just falls back into its position. So that, so that comes in very handy when you have to be quick. Just put it back, you can shoot, you can shoot. Very, very handy. Now, the hop up adjustment is this little wheel right here as you can see you can push more hop up and down is for less hop up now the front stock of the gun is pretty solid as well not much to say about it then you have your iron sights you can adjust to low and high when you put it up you have your screw right here to take off this part but you have another pin right here 
and I put some tape on it because the pin falls out so that's one minus part about it that the pin falls out then you have your other barrel it's almost the same as a AK Kalashnikov and the AG version of this your flash hider is in one piece with your other barrel so you have one piece of other barrel this piece then you can take this off and you can take this off this this top part and then you can extend or increase your other barrel now as I mentioned for the internal parts this gun is pretty solid now I've taken the time to replace the inner barrel to a 6.01 mad bull inner barrel I've replaced some things in the cylinder so the gun should shoot pretty accurate and it shoots around 400 and 400 and 480 FPS now, the magazine. The magazine is one of my favorite parts at this gun. I'm going to put it back on safe. Now, for the magazine release, just push the release and it comes out. It is pretty solid as well. You can see there's a 45 degree cut in there. Also, in here is a 45 degree cut. So, it fits perfectly into the gun. Like this. Now, this magazine takes 50 BBs. That is a lot for an airshaft sniper. But I have something cooler. This magazine, as you can see, is a high cap magazine. I'm going to put it open. As you can see, your high cap magazine, a wheel at the bottom, so you can wind up your BBs. And this magazine takes around 200 BBs. So, that's another thing. With my VSR 10, it takes 22 to 30 BBs. It depends on what brand I take. But this magazine takes 200 BBs. Now, the cool thing about it is you don't have to wear any gear, you don't have to wear any BBs, you don't shake the BBs around when you're walking so you don't get spot out in the field. You just have your high cap magazine. It doesn't make a lot of sound when you put the BBs in it. You just have your high cap magazine, you put it in, cock it, and you can play a whole fucking day without changing a single magazine. Now the, the, the magazines are pretty solid as well. They're made of metal, so that's good. Now another thing I forgot to mention was, you can put on a Picatinny rail right here, and then it bends over to here, so you can put a scope on it. I'm going to put a picture right here so you know what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it yet now it is time to test the chrono on this amazing airsoft sniper rifle now as I mentioned it shoots around 480 FPS but the stock spring that's in it it's an M150 that shoots around 470 as well so stock it is pretty decent as well So as you can see, it is pretty decent for a kind of stock uh, airsoft gun. Only the inner barrel and some adjustments on the cylinder have been changed. So I am happy to say that this gun is very good in the field. Minus things about it, it the gun is 120 centimeters long. So another minus part about it, it is pretty heavy for an airsoft sniper because it's full metal. But the positive things about it, it shoots perfect, it is kind of quiet, you have an amazing bolt, it is solid, the magazine capacity is perfect, and as you can see, the gun looks good. So guys, that's all for today, if you want to buy this airsoft gun, uh, I will put a link in the description where you can find this, this gun retails around 200 euros or 260 dollars something like that the wooden version is a little bit more expensive this gun is manufactured from king arms 
and the gun retails about 330 euros or something around 450 dollars so that's a lot just for the wooden version but I prefer this one now I hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up and I will be seeing you guys in my next video also don't forget to subscribe or I will come after your ass with my gun